Welcome back to the show. I am super excited to bring out our very next guest. Well, our first one for the show, actually. Welcome to the uh, set for the very first time to this uh, Treasure Valley View, Ms. Sharon Lowski. Yay! Hi. 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 So I'm so much. glad it's you could make you. it. I am so excited to have you here, and what a coincidence that I, I actually I don't believe that it was a coincidence that my husband found you. I've just been recently told that I am gluten free, and I had no earthly idea what I was going to do. So yay me! Yay, here you are you today. Go. So you have a silver it's silver sage bakery, yes, correct? Silver sage gluten free bakery. That's right. Oh, so that's a big mouthful. It is so, gluten free yeah. bakery. Okay, <laughs> so you these are gluten free. Yes, these are gluten free chocolate chip. I think since, and um, white chocolate and cranberry. Since I'm cookies. gluten free, I probably should yeah. have to have you one of these. So tell that, me yes. about your bakery. How did you get started with this whole thing? And thank you, by the way, for starting it. Well, thank you. Um, so yes, I got started on this because I wanted to open up a coffee mm. and cake shop. And um, a small business advisor um, recommended I go to farmer's markets. And so I started getting involved in farmer's markets around the valley. Oh, and I had a lot of requests for gluten-free products. And so um, from there, it just kind of morphed, and I started um, experimenting and converting a lot of my old recipes, a lot of my mom's recipes, um, to gluten-free versions. And now I'm doing almost exclusively gluten-free, especially for um, market, um, for the farmers market, and for stores, and for um, bake or bakeries. Um, and food trucks, food trucks and everything. You said you're doing yes. a little bit of everything. Yes. So help, let's back up just a little bit. Tell me what what is it that I am? I mean, they're telling me that I am gluten. I need to be eating gluten free. So what is it that I? I mean, it's not some horrible disease. It's just I just can't tolerate certain things, right? Right. Right. I mean, there is celiac disease, which is very serious. But for a lot of folks, it's just a gluten intolerance um, or gluten sensitivity. And what it is is a protein that Ew. is found in wheat and rye and barley and other. Um, grains like that um, that you should be avoiding if you have a sensitivity or an intolerance. Well, I sure do, and I'm, man, what a coincidence that you're here today. I'm so happy about it. Okay, so, but you didn't start off. You said that when, earlier when we were talking, you said that you just really had a love for baking, but primarily cakes, right? Yes. So how did that end up transforming over into? Um, I really enjoyed cakes and, and you know, doing everything from a simple birthday cake or cupcakes up to, you know, And you great decorate big... them and you do beautiful, mm -hmm. uh, just gorgeous jobs with these, right? Yes, and I have a website, um, silversagebakery.com, mm -hmm. where people can see pictures of cakes that I've done in the past from wedding cakes down to, you know, simple birthday cakes right. and complex deals. And from there, the cakes have just morphed into um, doing breads, which is um, high demand for gluten-free people. They they folks that eat gluten-free just want to find a bread or b other baked goods because they usually have to give them up. You know, there's right. so many things that have wheat in them that they end up giving up sandwiches and and I was beginning stuff. to wonder when they said gluten-free and as far as wheat is concerned, I was like, holy Hannah, what am I supposed? I, you know, for 42 years, well maybe 40, I mean 29, <laughs> 29 years, I've been enjoying white bread. So what I mean, what kind of bread can I have if I'm gluten-free? You start looking for alternative breads and some of the oldest. Um, grains that have been around for centuries, like sorghum and teff and rice and um, all these white, other rice bread. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'll yeah, something new every day. Um, yeah, rice crackers. You know, oh, all, sure. that, all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Um, you start looking for alternative grains and you start reading packages because um, gluten can be no, found. No, I don't. I don't want to read. <laughs> I don't so, do that. Gluten can be found in everything from lunch meats to um, cheeses, spices. Yeah, it's in, everything. It's, it's in everything. it's in everything. I've pretty much, I, up until today, I had settled myself that I was going to end up being a vegetarian, which I'm fine with. Right. I, I am a juicer. And so I'm actually really, really good with that. But I, so tell me what kind of bread. You were telling me that I could have a specific kind of bread and you actually maybe brought me some today, yes, right? Yes, I brought a sample of Ezekiel bread. I came up with a gluten-free Ezekiel bread recipe. Um, the original recipe from the Bible has wheat and barley and spelt, um, which are all banned from a gluten-free diet. So, so I couldn't have any of those. Hey, Not tell everybody in the Treasure Valley where they could come and find you or maybe get some more information so that uh, they can follow up and get their own Ezekiel bread, because I'm not sharing. <laughs> <laughs> so they can find it at the Boise Co-op, um, Karcher Ranch Market, um, Mrs. Beasley's mm -hmm. in Boise, and then they can order from me direct, and I do deliver around oh. the Treasure Valley. Okay. And um, then they can also find some sourdough that I do at um, 
Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We'll, uh, different restaurants and on my website. They can find me on my website. Call me. Find me on Facebook. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'll tell you what. We'll be right back after these commercial breaks. Thank you so much for joining Thank us here today. I appreciate it. it. Let's go take a look at that Ezekiel bread. Thank you.